What's up, guys? Hello, Shiro Toy Reviews. Doing another Transformer review. <laughs> Excuse me. This time on um, a figure I've already kind of reviewed, but I I didn't like how that review um, was. <laughs> um, wasn't my best, so I just I decided the figure for this character deserved a re-review, which I said I was going to do a handful of those. Um, so tonight, because at the time of this recording it's nighttime, we are looking at um transformers collectors club um maximal death charge um in case so for for those who may not be aware um transformers collectors club was a subscription service <laughs> excuse me for fans to get like recolors or repaints or remolds <laughs> of existing um figures or whatever um so this Death Charge is a repaint of the Transformers. I think it was Hunt for the Decepticons, Terror Dive, which is a really solid figure. Um, that figure is like yellow, and he's mixed with a few other colors. Um, not exactly sure what type of jet this is, but um, it's cool looking. <laughs> um, the colors on him are just really... Uh, out there i would say um the colors are just a lot i mean you have yellow you have purple you have blue you have gray um like i said the colors on him are just really out there um for those who don't know uh depth charge was a maximal i think he was like a bounty hunter or he was like like a police officer or something i don't really remember i hadn't seen beast wars in over three and a half years because <laughs> i watched the whole series three and a half years ago so i don't remember exactly what his occupation was um, but he came to earth hunting down a predacon named rampage they both um, ended up dying um, a little bit later on in the series. Um, <clears throat> but he was a really cool character. He was kind of about business. Um, you know, he was a very serious kind of character. I liked him, and he turned to a Stingray. Um, I, I would maybe get um, the original Beast Wars figure of Death Charge. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of a shame he didn't get a figure in a Kingdom. That would have been really cool. Um but yeah, uh, this figure is awesome. Um, this figure got a re-release where he was in a regular like box and you could buy him in the store. Um, I got the, um, let's see, show it real quick. I got the, the club exclusive version, so the original version, um, Transformers Collectors Club Depth Charge. Um, ages five and up so i don't remember because i had this guy for about a year so i don't remember how much i paid for him um maybe like 30 40 dollars i think which was worth it this figure is old um and he was an exclusive so i think this is reasonable um the detail on him is clean um he has landing gear right here he has two pieces of landing gear at the bottom like I said, I always love when they implement landing gear and their flying characters. Um, just adds a little more sense of realism. Um, yeah, uh, he comes with um, his spear. I mean, his trident, which uh, Terror Dive comes with as well. And this mold also, this figure also got a uh, another Decepticon mold, a character called Space Case, who... Um, I really like the head on that character. I, I, I might get him, and maybe Terror Dive too, but I really like how the head on Space Case looks. So, yeah. But um, this opens up, and it's uh, fairly long, surprisingly. This is a long... I think that's how you do it. This is a long-ass Triton, but it looks super cool. And I dig it. I believe he had one in the original. Sh yeah, I think he did. He had one in the original show. I think he also had guns. Um, so he has long, but it's nice. Um, like I said, this figure 
he's been a nice a uh, he's been a nice piece that I've had display with my kingdom characters, you know, for um, months. Outside of you know, he he fits in better, of course, in robot mode because all the other characters are animals; they turn into animals. So, yeah, but he's still a, a solid piece to have, in you know, in your kingdom. Anyone who's been collecting kingdom figures, um, yeah, he's solid to have in the kingdom toy line. Um, right here, you see his little Maximal logo, which is nice. Um. Oh uh, yeah, I'll wait till I, I transform them to get into what my gripes are. Um, here's his manual, which is yeah, Transformers. This is Transformers Timelines Depth Charge. Yeah, so the manual, which is always great. You need the manual to know how to transform the figure. <laughs> um, here is his technical data. This is the car character card he comes with. Um, let's see. Oh, I was right. He is a bounty hunter. I was right. It's on here. Uh, it says strength is a 9. Intelligence is a 10. Uh, speed is an 8. Endurance is a 9. Rank is a 7. Courage is a 10. Fire Blast is a 6. Excuse me. The skill is a 9. Um, it says it's not revenge I'm looking for. It's justice. Uh, oh, boy. This is a lot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see it that well. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and briefly read it. Magnif magnif magnificently sweeping through the darkness with a regal silence, a hunter trails his prey, defender, pursuer, and if need be, judge. Death charge acts swiftly and with unquestioning resolve. Um, he holds tightly to a desire for justice, even... Excuse me, even if he dispenses the justice himself, after tracking down and interacting, you know, incarcerating the murderous Protoform X, Jeff, Death Charge returned to Cybertron, torn apart by war, aging masters force the next generation of soldiers into battle in the name of the cause, death haunted every street, and justice ab abounded. Depth Charge was tasked with a mission to hunt down deserters from the maximal ranks who had dispatched their commanding officer and consorted with the enemy um, in an attempt to use experimental transwarp drive technology to flee the planet. Retracting their steps with his own transwarp device, the maximal soon found their escape route. It was not another planet, but to another universe, one which Trans Tech calls home. Trans Tech, Trans Tech call home. Um, yeah, Trans Tech. I think that was a canceled Beast Wars sequel series. I, I don't remember. Um, so, like I said, a mouthful. <laughs> that was a lot to read. <sighs> Let's see. So, uh, the transformation is it too hard? I only transform. This is my second time transforming him. So, I didn't realize how easy it was. Um, let's see. Uh, different pieces fold out. Um, the arms, these pieces on the arms, they fold out. Um, let's see. The head folds up. I think this turns around. Uh, see there's a piece, Let's see this piece, how we do this, this piece, nose cone, I remember how you do it, there we go, we Form the chest. Oh. Oh boy. See, how's the chest? How's that closed down? Okay, I'll come back to that. <laughs> uh, let's open up the feet. Wings out of the way. Let's 
see. Hmm. Take her out. Almost okay. Almost there. Hmm. Trying to figure out what am I doing wrong? Something is supposed to peg in. Uh, I'm, I'm missing something. Something's supposed to peg in. But I don't want this video to be too long. Okay. This cavity opens. I don't remember which way it opens. There we go. So the arms, I mean the hands pop out. And yeah, you want to be a little bit careful. Because like I said, this figure is old. I'm not sure how old he is. Um, so you know, try not to be rough. I'm trying not to be rough with the figure. These arms. Let's see if these are plug in. Okay. Almost got it. Well, for the most part, uh, for the most part, I got it. <laughs> like I said, I don't want it, I don't want it to be too long. So here we have death charge, mostly transformed. Um. Yeah, got a little quiet because I was trying to focus. Um, yeah, <laughs> I try my best. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there he is, mostly transformed. I don't want to fiddle with the chest too much. Um, yeah, so the way he folds up, for the most part, my nose is a little bit runny. Apologize for that. So for the most part, he holds up pretty well. Um, like I said, his Maximal logo would have been nice if it, they had it on other parts of his body. Um, the Triton looks really cool. Um, he does have light piping. I don't know how well it's coming up on screen. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, if for some reason he has a little clip on his shoulder right here and you can attach the Triton to that. So, um, yeah, like I said, once you kind of get, once you transform him at least a few times, it gets fairly easy. Um, and yeah, he's a solid figure. Like, so the colors are just... They pop in a good way, and this figure just kind of screams like exclusive or something. Like, this is something you probably see in a selects line today. Um, but yeah, I recommend him. He's solid. He's a nice alternative compared to the old Beast Wars one. I don't know how much that one goes for. But uh, yeah. So that's, yeah, that's it for Death Charge. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, next video. I'm not sure what that might be. Um, 
as of this recording, tomorrow afternoon, I have an interview. Um, hooray! So if that goes well, you know, I might try to put a little bit of money to the side to spend on collectibles. So yeah, maybe I might do a review on something new. Um, other than that, that's it for this review. So like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace, you guys.